Hi, and welcome to week four of virtual school. I'm your teacher, Mr. Cohn. We are currently on day 27 of the coronavirus lockdown, and my beard has become scruffy. Last Wednesday, the 78-year-old man who taught you more about percents than your math teacher, Bernie Sanders, dropped out of the presidential race. That means that Joe Biden is the last man standing in the Democratic contest, and he will be facing President Trump in November. As you remember, Mr. Biden was the vice president during President Barack Obama for eight years. Remember, vice president means you are second in command. Now he will try his hand at becoming the, the top job in the country, and we'll find out if he will win or not in November. Our quote from this week comes from another former president, John F. Kennedy. President Kennedy said, Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. This is a quote about citizenship. During this time, the obligations of citizenship have changed a bit. It's important that um, while you are at home, you are practicing good hygiene to not spread the virus to other people and also keeping up on your schoolwork um, so you can keep an education going even while you are at home. So please remember the words of President Kennedy and be a good citizen this week. For our assignments for social studies this week, you are going to keep learning about Europe. This is our last week of our Europe unit, and we're going to talk about Southern Europe, the countries of Portugal, Spain, Italy, and Greece. There are two assignments for the week. First up, you need to read an article about Southern Europe called Southern Europe Close Up. This article talks about the people and the countries of Southern Europe, and there is a reading quiz to take for it on Google Classroom. Please use the reading to help you with the quiz. You may keep it open in another tab while you're taking your quiz, and this will help you make sure you can find the answers while you are doing your work. Please have that, have that done by Friday. Your second assignment for this week involves your favorite website, YouTube. The countries and people of Southern Europe have been super influential throughout world history. I have created a playlist on YouTube of videos about the people and the inventions and the empires of the history of Southern Europe and how they have influenced us today. Each video explains a different part of the history of Southern Europe, like the Roman Empire or the Greek gods and goddesses or things like democracy that are still influential in our lives today. Feel free to watch all of the videos if you'd like, but for the assignment, I'm requiring that you pick two that interest you the most. So read through the list, look at the topics, and pick the two that interest you the most. Once you've chosen your videos, you need to watch each one carefully, record the facts on a worksheet on Google Classroom, and then write an IVF summary paragraph of what you learned in the video. You, there are two videos you have to watch, so at the end you should have two paragraphs turned into me, not just one, two paragraphs, one per video. Um, Please take your time on the assignment and do it well. It might be a lot of work, but I would recommend doing it over a couple of days. That is your second assignment for the week and your last one. I'm only assigning two things this week because many of you have not finished all of your work from previous weeks. So, if you have done everything, take an extra day off to work on another, another topic or to pursue your other hobbies at home. If you have not done all your work for this class, then keep working on your missing assignments during those extra off days. Now, there is a chance this week for you to get shouted out on this show. Here's how. I am going to post on Google Classroom a Countries of Europe geography game that is online. So, if you play the game, take a picture with your phone of your high score, and then email me your high score by Friday. I will shout out the top five high scores on our video next week. You may play the game as many times as you want to get good at it before Friday, but just submit your best score to me. Remember, top five scores get shouted out. Ah, it's time for the secret compartment. Let's see what's inside Captain America's head today. Ooh, it's the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. As you will learn in some of your YouTube videos for the week, Ancient Greece and Ancient Rome both came, originated in Southern Europe. These civilizations 
had ideas about government and citizenship that are still practiced in the United States today. In the city-state of Athens, Greece, which is right here on our map, the ancient Greeks developed the idea of democracy. Democracy is an English word that comes from two Greek root words, demos meaning citizen and kratos meaning power. If you put those two Greek roots together, like you learned in Miss Ballou's class, you can get the English word democracy, meaning power comes from the citizens. In ancient Athens, they had a form of government called a democracy, where the citizens of the city voted for all the laws. This is called a direct democracy. The citizens vote, and the laws get made. In Athens, not everyone was a citizen. You had to be male and you had to own land. But those people who were the citizens, the male landowners, voted to make the laws for the city. This is uh, something that we practice today as far as people voting. We get that idea from ancient Athens. Now, we don't have the same limits on citizenship. You don't have to own land. You don't have to be a man to be a citizen. But you can see where that idea came from. The other form of government that's important from Southern Europe came from ancient Rome. Ancient Rome is on the Italian peninsula in the country of Italy today. The city of ancient Rome had a slightly different type of government that you might recognize as well. This is called a republic. Republic comes from the language of Latin and their words res publica. Latin was the language of ancient Rome. Res publica means public affair or a public thing. And for the ancient Romans, government was meant to be a public event. It took place oftentimes in the forum, um, and also the similar idea of public and voting, meaning that the citizens of Rome um, had a say in their government. Now, a republic is a little bit different than a democracy, and here's how. In a republic, the citizens vote not on the laws themselves, but they vote for representatives who then make the laws for them. This actually, is, this adds an extra step, but it actually makes the process simpler because think about in our country, we have 300 million people. If every single person got to vote on every single law, we would never have time to work. We would just be voting all the time. So we elect representatives who then go to Washington, D.C. and meet in this building, the Capitol building, to make our laws for us. We elect them every couple of years in different elections. They take place usually in November. We have one coming up in 2020. Who are our representatives in the United States? Well, let's figure it out. In Colorado, we are represented by three different people in the Capitol building. The first is this guy, Scott Tipton. He is our representative for the third district of Colorado. That is the western half of the state, roughly. And so he includes um, everyone that lives in Ignacio, Durango, Grand Junction, and all the towns in the West. We also have two senators who help make laws for us. One is Michael Bennett, and he is our a senator from Colorado. He's a Democrat. And we also have Cory Gardner, who is also our senator from Colorado. He's a Republican. And these three guys together, they work to help with all the other representatives in the Senate and from all over in the House representatives from all over the country, make the laws for our country. Um, both Cory Gardner and Scott Tipton are up for re-election in 2020, which means that your parents will, and grandparents and people like me will have a chance to vote for whether or not we want to keep these men in office or vote for new people to represent us. So, as you can see, ideas about voting, citizenship, democracy, and republics are very old ideas. These things are thousands of years old. They did not start with the United States of America. And um, the election coming up this year is a reminder that um, ideas like these are old. And this is why history matters, because it can explain to us how our lives work today, where these ideas come from, and how we got here. So, Keep that in mind this week as you're doing your work and think about the connections between history and your life today. Um, please let me know if you have any questions about anything and feel free to hang out with me on Google from uh, 1.30 to 2.30 every day if you need any help with anything. Have a great week. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll talk to you next week.